Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Active Directory Certificate Services on Windows Server running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for AWS and from here you want to click on continue to subscribe. And then from this product page, you want to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. And after the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, from this page, you want to choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. And then on this page, you get two different options, either to launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now that is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. And in this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name as I'm going to call mine as ADCS and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you will be using to connect to the RDP connection of our virtual machine. And then you can leave the network settings as default and when satisfied, simply click on launch instance and then simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Now, once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to your virtual machine using an RDP connection. For that, simply click on view all instances. And then from this listing page, you want to click on your virtual machine and choose connect and then switch over to the RDP client tab. And on this tab, you want to click on get password. And on this page, you need to click on browse and search for your SSH private key. After that, your key is going to show itself over here. Then you need to click on decrypt password. After that, you would get this public DNS username and password. So hit windows and search for remote desktop connection. And in here, what you're going to do is that you're going to simply copy this public DNS and paste it inside this computer field and then click on show more options. And then for the username, so you are simply going to copy this username from here to this field and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password from here into this field and then click on OK. And then you would be prompted to connect to this remote virtual host. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be established. Once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once inside this Windows Server, what you want to do is that you want to click on this Windows icon and then search for Server Manager. And then you're going to open up this desktop application. Now once the Server Manager has completely loaded, you can see that it is showing me this prompt. So click on it and select on Configure Active Directory Certificate Services. Now you can see in this configuration page that it has already picked up the credentials. So simply click on Next. After that, for the role services, you want to pick the Certification Authority and then click on next. Now for the setup type, we want to set up a standalone certification authority. So choose that option and then click on next. Now for the CA type, it is totally up to you if you want to create a root CA or a subordinate CA. So I'm going to go with the root CA and then click on next. Next step, I want to create a new private key. So click on that option and then choose next. Now when creating this key, just make sure that you do not choose the hashing algorithm as SHA1 because that is being deprecated. So choose the one that you like and then click on next and then provide a CA name for your certification authority. Once that is done, click on next and select the validation period. I am going to leave it as default, which is five years and then click on next. Now for the certificate database, I'm going to go with the default database location and choose next. And on this confirmation page, you can see that all of the settings that I'm going with. If you want to change a particular setting, simply go back to its tab and change that from there. If not, then simply click on configure to actually set up your certification authority. And just like that, you have successfully set up your certification services or certification authority. So I can simply close this tab down. Now, if I want to start handling out certificates, then I can simply click on these tools and choose certification authority from here. And just like that, you're all done with setting up Active Directory certification services. Now, this also brings us to the end of this tutorial. 
Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for AWS and also for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Active Directory services on Windows Server running on Amazon Web Services. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.